Hello everyone. Our today's topic is about decimals. We will be learning about meaning of decimal, meaning of decimal fraction and decimal number. Conversion of fractions into decimal numbers. Decimal comes from a Latin word decimus which means tenth. The numbers that the decimal number system presents are called decimal fractions. A decimal fraction refers to a fraction whose denominator divisor is either 10 or a power of 10 such as 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. For instance, this circle is divided into 10 parts and 3 of these fractions are colored so it will be 3 by 10. 10 is the total number of sections in the circle and 3 is the number of sections which are colored. If 7 out of these parts are colored, we will write it as 7 by 10. Similarly, 22 parts out of 100 will be 22 by 100. 56 parts out of 1000 will be 56 by 1000. 175 parts out of 1000 will be 175 by 1000. All four of these are decimal fractions. Now, there is another way of writing these decimal fractions that uses point. By this method, we can write these numbers as 3 by 10 is equal to 0 0.3 7 by 10 is equal to 0 0.7 22 by 100 is equal to 0 0.22 56 by 1000 is equal to 0 0.056 175 by 1000 is equal to 0 0.175 When these fractions are presented this way like 0 0.3 0 0.7 0 0.22 0 0.056 and 0 0.175 We call them decimal numbers or decimals for short Let's understand the making of decimal numbers. A decimal number is based on two parts, such as in 45.78, one part lies on the left of the point, that is 45, and the other part lies on the right side of the point, that is 78. The point that separates these two parts is known as the decimal point. The left part, that is 45 in 45.78, is known as the whole part or integral part, and the right part, that is 78 in 45.78, is known as the decimal part. So, the integral part and the decimal part are separated by the decimal point. The number of digits that make the decimal part of the decimal number are referred to as number of decimal places. For instance, in this given example, there are two decimal places. One is 7 and the other is 8. Let's see some more examples of decimal numbers. In number 10.36, 10 is the whole integral part and 36 is the decimal part. 
The point between these parts is the decimal point and there are two decimal places in it that is 3 and 6. In number 95.264, 95 is the whole integral part and 264 is the decimal part. The point between these parts is the decimal point and there are three decimal places in it that is 2, 6 and 4. Remember that zeros that come in the whole part on the left of the decimal point before a digit have no value. For instance, in 005.57, there is no value. The two zeros before 5 in the whole part, so we should simply write it as 5.57. Also, zeros that come in the decimal part on the right of the decimal point after the digits also have no value. For instance, in 8.400, there is no value of the two zeros after the 4 in the decimal part. So we should simply write it as 8.4. Conversion of fractions into decimals. To convert a fraction into a decimal number, we can divide the numerator by the denominator until we get 0 as remainder but an easier way is to count the zeros of the denominator and put the decimal point in the numerator according to it. Let's see how it is done. Nominator bigger than denominator. Here we have three examples of fractions which have same numerator that is 86,793 but different denominators that is 10, 100 and 1000. As you may have noticed, the denominator is bigger than the denominator in all three examples. 86,793 by 10 86,793 by 100 86,793 by 1000 Now, to convert them into decimal numbers that we can do is first write the numerator then count the number of zeros in the denominator and put a decimal point in the number in such a way that the decimal places are equal to the number of zeros. 86,793 by 10 86,793 is the numerator. 10 has one zero, so we count one digit from the left and put the decimal point after it like this. So, it becomes 8,000 679.3 Hence, 86,793 by 10 is equal to 8,679.3 86,793 by 100 100 has two zeros, so we count two digits from the left and put the decimal point after it like this. So, it becomes 867.93 and we read it as 867.93. Hence, 86,793 by 100 is equal to 867.93. 86,793 by 1000 1000 has three zeros so we count three digits from the left and put the decimal point after it like this. 
so it becomes 86.793 and we read it as 86.793 therefore 86793 by 1000 is equal to 86.793 Nominator smaller than denominator. Let's see how to do the conversion when the nominator is smaller than the denominator. In case the nominator is smaller than the denominator, we count the number of digits in the denominator and then put some zeros before the digits of the numerator on the left to make equal number of digits. in both nominator and denominator then we count the number of zeros in the denominator and put a decimal point in the number in such a way that the decimal places are equal to the number of zeros let's understand this by converting these fractions into decimals where denominator is bigger than numerator 3 by 10 3 by 100 3 by 1000 here we have examples of fractions which have same numerator that is 3 but different denominators that is 10 100 and 1000 let's begin with number 1 3 by 10 The denominator has two digits while numerator 3 has one digit. So we add 10 in front of 3 on the left to make it a two digit number like 10. So now we have 03 instead of 3. Now count the number of zeros in 10. There is 10 So we count decimal places from the right side of 03 and put decimal point after one digit. It becomes 0.3. So 3 by 10 is equal to 0.3. Next is 3 by 100. The denominator 100 has three digits while Numerator 3 has one digit. So we add two zeros in front of 3 on the left to make it a three digit number like 100. So now we have 003 instead of 3. Now count the number of zeros in 100. There are two zeros so we count decimal places from the right side of 003 and put decimal point after two digits it becomes 0.03 so 3 by 100 is equal to 0.03 now 3 by 1000 the denominator 1000 has four digits while numerator 3 has one digit so we add three zeros in front of 3 on the left to make it a four digit number like 1000 so now we have 0003 instead of 3 now count the number of zeros in 1000 there are three zeros so we count decimal places from the right side of 0003 and put decimal point after three digits it becomes 0.003 so 3 by 1000 is equal to 0.003 we hope now you have learned about decimals if some concepts are not clear then replay the video again and again still If you have some questions then ask your teacher